have several videos out on weaving and ends in different situations and this came in as a request. I thought it was a good idea because it's a couple of different ways of weaving and ends in one project, socks. If you would like to see my weaving and ends playlist, which I think I've covered just about every situation you can imagine, but if I've forgotten something, you let me know and I'll make a video on it. Just click the little eye in the upper right hand corner to see my videos on weaving and ends. But this one is very specifically on socks, so let's take a look. Okay, here's a sock that I finished. This is my new Welsh heel sock pattern. And I finished this beautiful, delicate sock. I still have my little stitch markers in. And I have a couple of ends here. I have this end at the toe, where I've finished the Kitchener stitch. And I have this end at the ribbing. And it's, there are a couple of different ways I'm gonna work these. But because this sock is so delicate and pretty, that's not the, not the way I make you watch things in my videos. I always have something much easier for you to see, right? So I have this little chunky sock. This is left over from, I think, the bulky sleep sock tutorial. And it's going to help me explain weaving and ends in socks much better. I have my tapestry needle. I'm gonna turn my sock inside out. And on the inside here, I have a few ends to weave in because I've changed the color between the toe and the, and the cuff. But these are all gonna weave in the exact same way. I'm going to thread my tapestry needle, and we are just dealing with reverse stockinette stitch, smiles and umbrellas, as I call them. I'm going to weave in the color into itself. So I'm gonna weave in the green down here and the gray up here. I'm going to go, I'm going to follow umbrellas and smiles umbrellas and smiles and you'll see you'll see the, the the pattern here if you haven't done this before i'm going to go up into an umbrella and then at an angle up into a smile follow and i'm going to be working to the left here a little to the left follow the umbrella around and go down into the smile and then down into the umbrella working to the left follow the smile around Go up into the umbrella, up into the smile. Going left, follow the umbrella around, down into the smile, down into the umbrella. Umbrella, smile. Smile, umbrella. We're kind of doing this zigzaggy, almost a figure eight. And then when you get that woven in, this is the way, the reason we do it this way is because it keeps full elasticity when you do it this way. You've done that for an inch or so, you can cut that short. Now the next thing, all the other ends on there in this sock are the same. So, except for the cuff, this is what we wanna get to. This is really exaggerated because it's in this chunky yarn. But when you're knitting in a spiral, you'll end up with the very end of the spiral being higher than the beginning of that round, right? We can even this up and weave in, in the end, at the, weave in the end at the same time. So this was um, a knit, this is a purl row, here's knit. I'm going to go under both legs of the V in the first stitch and then back down into where that stitch came out of. Now watch how magic this is. Ta-da! There's this line of Vs that continues without a break. We just straighten that, we clean that way up. And now we want to weave in this end. And this is how I weave an end on ribbing. I find a knit column and I put my needle under one side of the V. I just keep winding it around like this. I'm gonna weave it in straight down and then back rather than across because I want my rib to stay really stretchy and if I was to weave in this way, you know, across, it would, it would um, make it less elastic. But if I just do it up and down like this, and on, this, on the way back down to the edge, I don't go all the way to the edge. I leave a stitch there because I don't want the end poking off higher than the cuff of the sock. Cut that short, and that end is woven in. And I just messed it up by tightening that the way I did. There we go. We have a clean line of Vs across the top of the sock. 
So that's it. That is the techniques for weaving in ends on the inside of the sock, reverse stockinette, as well as weaving in ends in the rib and fixing up the little tidy, tidying up the cuff on the socks. I hope that helps. Good luck.